everybody. I'm Tim Brandon, along with Billy Packer. Billy, when you talk about Duke, you hear words like invincible, untouchable, dynasty. Can they be beaten? Well, I think they can be beaten. Whether they will tonight, I don't know. But I can go back to March 1974. 17 seconds to go in the game. North Carolina behind by Duke by eight. They came back and won that one. So they've been underdogs before and came back and surprised everybody. The key, though, tonight is this Duke team is a very mature club. They're very talented. They've been on these kind of courts before. And if anybody has something to prove, it's Duke. Because the last time they played, they can remember that one. All right. We're just about set. It's Duke in North Carolina. Coming up, we'll have the keys to the game and the opening tip after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Chapel Hill as the fans prepare for the showdown between Duke and North Carolina. Billy, take us through the four keys. Well, one of the things that really caused some problems for North Carolina this year, and we can all remember the Florida State game, was playing against slashing-type players. And no team in the country has got a better club at slashing to the basket than Duke University. It'll be a real problem for North Carolina tonight if they can't stop the penetration by Hurley and the others. Now, I've got to believe with the three seven-footers that North Carolina has, they're going to be banging late year around down in the paint. Well, this is a real problem for Duke University because you have in North Carolina three seven-footers, as you pointed out, Christian Leitner has one sub, basically Cherokee Parks, but Parks hasn't shown he could play in a big game like this yet. And here you have Salvadori, Montrose, and Winstrom. I think that Dean Smith will use all three of these five players, try to wear down Leitner a little bit, and maybe get him in some foul trouble. It could all be a game. All right, Billy. 21 feet and 15 fouls. We're all set. We'll be back with a starting lineup after this word from our good friends at Bud Light. <laughs> 